Mr. Letard, and you're watching the Cat's Eye News. Previously, we posted scores and updates for our school sports on Fridays on our Instagram, Novi Cat's Eye News. But now, we're moving that to Monday to better reflect the schedule of our athletics. So stay tuned for that. Hello, freshman Wildcats of Novi. The first ever Freshman Novi Roar Ambassadors tailgate will be held today after school from 4.30 to 6 p.m. on the practice field behind the baseball diamonds. They will have pizza and games, and after, you can head over to the Novi Northwell Pink Out game. Please bring your student ID. If freshmen want to participate, they will have to fill out a form in their emails. Hope you go there and have fun. Hey Novi, Friday, October 20th after school, make sure you head down to room 182 by the Media Center for Culture Club. They'll be learning about the culture of Poland. Everyone's welcome and snacks are provided. See you there, Novi. Hey Wildcats, just letting you know Monday's advisory is the last day you can buy a pink ribbon to support women with breast cancer for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And also, don't forget, at the game today, you can get your face painted. What's up, Novi? Welcome to College Game Day, presented by the Cat's Eye News. I'm Jacob, that's Braylon, that's Jimmy. Each week, we're going to make about three to four picks, and we're going to see who comes away with the most points at the end of the year. Starting off with Oregon at Washington. I think Washington's offense is just too much for Oregon to handle. Washington pulls this one out. I disagree. I think Oregon's a very well-rounded team on both sides of the ball. They go into Washington and get the win. I like Penix a lot. I like the receivers a lot. Give me UW. Next game we have is USC at Notre Dame. USC's defense is so bad that a very mid Notre Dame team gets the win at home. USC's defense is one of the worst units I've ever seen. Notre Dame's going to be highly motivated, but Caleb Williams is just too good. USC wins this one by a lot. Caleb Williams is really good at football. Give me USC. Next game we have is Miami versus North Carolina. North Carolina is currently undefeated, and they're going to keep rolling when we get a win against Miami. Hey, hey, Miami. Go North Carolina. Big. Drake May is also really good at football. Give me UNC. Next up, we got UCLA at Oregon State. Detroit native Dante Moore, true freshman leading the Bruins offense. Give me UCLA. I agree with Jimmy. I think UCLA is a very underrated team, and they're going to go into Oregon State and get the win. I'm going to go against both of you guys. I think Oregon State, one of the most underrated teams this year. Oregon State pulls this one out. Next game, we got Michigan State, Rutgers. Give me Rutgers with the upset. They look good all year. Michigan State does not. Give me Rutgers with the upset. Go Spartans. Give me Michigan State. Give me Rutgers. They got a good run game, and I think they're going to run right through Michigan State's defense. Our last game is Michigan versus Indiana. Michigan's going to win by a lot of points. Go give me Indiana, go Hoosiers. Michigan's the second best team in football this year. Their team is so deep. Give me Michigan, Michigan big. Thank you for tuning in to the inaugural college game day. Let us know if you want to be in the next one, and we'll see you guys next week. Hey there, Wildcats. I'll be talking about some music that dropped midnight today. First, we got Ken Carson, The Great Chaos. We also have Offset, Sad Off. We have Gucci Mane, Breath of Fresh Air. And we also have Chief Keith, Almighty So 2. These are all dropped midnight today, and they're up to streaming on Spotify, Apple Music, or whatever you use, I don't know, like Pandora. All right, now let's go back in the past and interview someone. All right, now, I'm gonna go talk to a few strangers. Now, oh, hi, stranger, what's, what's your name? Isaiah. What album do you think is gonna be the best one out of all of them? I think that the Gucci Mane Breath of Fresh Air is gonna be the one. Hey Wildcats, just a quick update. Kanye has a concert upcoming on October 20th, but this is just a rumor. There will be a concert and there will be an album dropping by from Kanye. I don't, we don't know if it's going to be in the future or if it's going to be sometime soon, so I'd keep an eye out for that if you like Kanye. Uh, I'll keep an eye out, but as of right now, the rumored date is October 20th, and that's when he'll perform the album. Uh, that's all I've got for you, Wildcats. I'll see you later. Bye. Mrs. Moss still has seats available for the MSU Broad College of Accounting and Business Information and Technology Day on Friday, October 27th. If you're interested in going to business school, or especially if you're interested in majoring in accounting, this field trip is right for you. It costs $20 to attend, the bus will leave at 805 sharp on the 27th, and lunch will be free. Make sure you grab a permission slip from Mrs. Moss's room in room 218. It's first come, first serve, so you're probably going to want to go right now if you can. Hey Wildcats, this is Neil, and you're stuck with me because I'm doing Cat's Eye News. When you try and tell someone something that's not true and you get them to believe you and then they feel bad about it. And you're placing your own problems on somebody else. Someone is making you believe that they're not really doing something when they are. That's like when you say something, you're just trying to get someone all like all riled up. I don't know. I'm gonna pass on that one. I'm not sure about Riz. 
Riz means someone got game. None of y'all got game. I've seen the game in the hallways. It's bleh. You got, you know, you got game. You're talking to someone you like and you're trying to flirt with them a little bit. Like the finishing touch. Cap is lying. Man, that's some cap. <laughs> it's like, that's when someone's lying. You're lying. Not the truth, I guess. Like you're lying. Like you're capping. Fam is like short for family. It's a term for like lots of people. You just be like, what's up fam? <laughs> you're right or dies. For me, you're at Cadoba, you get a bowl, and then you're just eating that steak and chicken. It hits different. Like it just, it, it hits. I don't know, like tastes good. That sort of thing, I guess. Just do things a different way. Like I go out and I try some cider and it hits differently than what I expected, but it's not really a bad thing though. You're unique or it's unique in some way, it hits different. Maybe give a fist bump, something like that. Kind of dap up some students sometimes, so I know that one. It's just like, I don't know. Or no, 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 no. To dab one up is just to like, what's it like, good job, good job, dabbed up. It's like, okay, I guess, like, yeah, sure, bet. Put some money on something. You're right. Bet is like, cool. Yeah, that's a bet. Cool. Bet, like, yeah, done deal. Okay. This is Neil signing off. You may or may not see me in the next one. Thanks for watching, Novar. We'll see you in the next episode.